Mark Cuban now says that 80% of his non-Shark Tank deals are in crypto. That's right, the billionaire entrepreneur who's famous for building a number of companies during the dot-com boom and the owner of the Dallas Mavericks is going all in on crypto. He said 80%, 80% of all the non-Shark Tank deals are crypto. That's crazy. Here is a quote that we have from me. He said, the investments I'm making now are not in traditional businesses. 80% of the investments that I make that are not on Shark Tank are in or around cryptocurrencies. He then went on to talk about his bullishness on smart contracts, especially around DAOs, NFTs, DeFi, and more. He said, what really changed everything was smart contracts. Smart contracts came along and that created DeFi and NFTs. That's what changed the game. That's what got me excited. That's why it's a lot like the internet. And so ultimately, what we know is that Mark has been investing very heavily. He has been all over digital coins, NFTs, investments in many blockchain companies. As of April of last year, he was 60% Bitcoin, 30% Ethereum, and 10% the rest. Now, what I find very fascinating about Mark's comments is that smart contracts, it's really just automation, right? It's software code that automatically executes based on preset parameters. It basically says, if John sends me this token that represents the deed to his home, then I will send him one Bitcoin. That code executes based on those parameters. As long as John sends me that actual token that represents the deed of his home, then the one Bitcoin gets sent to him. There's nothing I can do to stop it, and there's nothing that John can do to stop it. Ultimately, it is software code that simply executes. That is what automation is all about. It's about the efficient pursuit of transactions. It removes middlemen, removes those rent seekers. So the idea of a smart contract, it's a shiny term that Nick Zabo coined, but ultimately we are talking about execution of automation. Automation, there's very few people in the world who think that automation is not going to eat all sorts of different industries. One of the problems with automation before we got into all these digital assets is that you can't actually automate transactions if you're still reliant on legacy technologies. So for example, I always use the example of, imagine if I tried to take a CD-ROM and put it into a cassette tape player, it doesn't work. Imagine if I wanted to send a song via the internet to John, but I actually had to use a CD-ROM. It takes a lot longer. It's less efficient. Ultimately, that's what we're talking about here. How do you have an automated financial service if you still are reliant on the banks to send wires every day with some sort of delay? It's not very easy. And so ultimately, when you get to digital assets, digital stocks, bonds, currencies, and commodities, then you can have true automation. The digital assets unlock the automated world. That automation is driven by these smart contracts. And I personally think that majority, not all, but majority of transactions in the world will be automated because they will leverage these smart contracts. So I think Mark Cuban understands much better than most people give him credit for. This is going to change the world. It's going to change every single industry. And there will be trillions of dollars of economic upside that is captured and created by the entrepreneurs and the investors who are courageous and have high enough conviction to go and find where this value ends up actually living.